Okay, in this video, we're going to look at Bluetooth range testing. So when you build your project, you want to know what's your effective, reliable range between your HC06 Bluetooth module and your smartphone. Now, Bluetooth is a short-range system. It's meant for indoors. And the HC06 Bluetooth module operates in the 2.4 GHz ISM band. It uses frequency hopping for good interference immunity. It uses FSK modulation and it uses forward error correction. So it actually could correct for low bit errors. So it's trying its best to give us a good communication link between our HC06 Bluetooth module and our smartphone for our project. Now the output power of the HC06 Bluetooth module is 6 dBm. It's class 2 power output which is around 4 milliwatts. And that power is fed into the antenna which you can see on top of the module. That's a called an inverted F antenna. It's not very efficient. It's not efficient as, say, a quarter wave ground plane antenna, but it's very compact. Now we can measure the, the output signal strength of the module to give us a good indication of our range, but sometimes signal strength is not a very good indication of, of how far we could actually transmit. If we had a wall here, say, indicating with my, my, my pencil, and our signal transmits from the Bluetooth module to the smartphone, and also reflects off the wall into the smartphone, we're going to get some interference. And that's going to corrupt our data. It's called inter-symbol interference. So sometimes we can have a strong signal, but our range is very short. So the best way to test for range is to use a, a bit error rate test. So in this video, we're going to look at how we could use a visual BERT test to indicate our effective, reliable range between our HC06 Bluetooth module and our smartphone. Now the Bluetooth protocol is very robust. It guarantees that your received data will not be corrupt and will be in the correct order or sequence. Now before the data is sent out the RX pin, it's CRC checked. Now as the RF signal gets weaker and we get single bit errors, the forward error correction on board will take care of that. Now as the signal worsens and we get multiple bit errors, then we're going to see some latency because it's going to ask for packet retries so it's going to slow our data down. Now when this RF signal becomes unusable, then it's going to shut down the whole system and it'll go into a lost connection mode. Okay, here's my setup to run my bit error rate test or my BERT test. So I have a USB to serial cable. Now there's four wires coming out of this cable. Now two are power plus five volts and ground which is powering my HC06 module. Now the two are the data lines, the TX and the RX line. So I could plug this USB connector into my computer and run a program called TerraTerm which is a serial terminal program which is running my BERT test. Now we could use protocol analyzers to run a BERT test, but they're very expensive. So this is a poor man's way of running a BERT test. And this will be a visual BERT test. Now as humans, we could pick up on symmetry. We can detect symmetry very well. If we walk into a friend's house, we could detect a crooked picture on his wall, even though we're not looking for it. It's kind of built into us. We do it automatically. So we'll use symmetry in the BERT test to detect errors and we'll get into that next. Okay here's an ASCII text file pattern that's written in notepad. Now this will be sent line by line using TerraTerm through the HC06 Bluetooth module to my smartphone. Now this pattern is very symmetrical so if there's any bit errors it will destroy the symmetry of this pattern and we'll be able to detect it right away. As we send this file to our smartphone using our HC06 Bluetooth module there should be no errors because the Bluetooth protocol guarantees there will be no receive errors and no corrupt data. Now the symmetry of this file should always be intact. If not, then we have a hardware problem with our HC06 Bluetooth modules. Now as the signal gets weaker and weaker and we get multiple bit errors and the forward error correction can't keep up, then it's going to ask for packet retries. And when it does that, we're going to see some latency. We're going to see the, the data speed slow down. Now once we see the data speed slow down, we, we mark that point because that's going to be our effective Bluetooth range. Okay, I'm sending my visual BERT test, my ASCII text file, over my Bluetooth link. And this is the pattern that I'm receiving. So you can see there's no errors, it's clean. And we're running at normal data speed. And I'm walking away from the sending Bluetooth transmitter. So as I walk away, the signal strength is going to get weaker. So far, it's been looking pretty good. Okay, now we're seeing a bit of latency. 
So it's looking for retries. It's, it's asking for packet retries. And you can see it's still not giving any errors. It's holding back errors, but it's, it's, it's retrying its packets. Now I'm going to start walking towards the, the transmitter. And we should get a better, uh, better signal. So now we're back to our normal speed and no errors. So the Bluetooth protocol did its job. So there's either good data or no data. And it didn't release any, any errors. So this is a good technique that you could use. It's a visual BERT test for testing radio links.